Hi guys, my name is Ishram. Have you ever thought about microorganisms? They cannot be seen through the naked eyes because they are too small, but we can see them through microscopes. Some are useful, but some are very harmful, even causing death. Today we'll learn about harmful microorganisms. Microorganisms are tiny living organisms that have been living all around us for thousands of years, but they are too small to be seen. You can't see them, but they are found in water, soil, and in the air. The human body is home to millions of these microorganisms. These are also called microbes, and the study of microorganisms is called microbiology. Up till now, scientists have discovered seven types of microorganisms, and also those which cause infections or diseases called pathogens. Microorganisms are divided into seven types, bacteria, archaea, protozoa, algae, fungi, viruses, and multicultural animal parasites, helminthes. A variety of microorganisms can cause disease. Pathogenic organisms are of five main types, viruses, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and worms. They are attached to the host tissue at the time of exposure. When it comes into contact with the host cell, they penetrate it and then multiply, literally taking over the host's functions. Then the host becomes damaged, resulting in infectious disease. Then, the question comes up in our mind, how do pathogens or germs spread disease or how do they attack our bodies? These microorganisms usually penetrate our bodies through the eyes, mouth, nose, or through wounds or bites that breach the skin barrier. Pathogens can be transmitted by several routes. Humans can be infected with many sorts of pathogens, including viruses and bacteria that can infect humans and cause symptoms such as sneezing, coughing, fever, vomiting, and sometimes it might even lead to death. What happens when pathogens like viruses and bacteria attack our bodies? How do our bodies react against them? Do they easily harm our bodies, or is there any sort of system to protect our bodies? Yes, there is a system that protects us. It's called the immune system. A human being's immune system fights off infection and sickness. It works as an antivirus. It has many ways to detect and destroy anything which is identified as a foreigner to our body. Together with bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites, or unhealthy cells. In this regard, antibodies play an important role as well. A strong immune system produces antibodies to protect our body against pathogens. Antibodies are made of proteins produced by the immune system from immunoglobulin protein which is stored by the body. Immune system cells produce antibodies when they react with foreign protein antigens such as infectious organisms, toxins, and pollen. We see so many bacterial and viral infections. Every single person faces several infections in their lifetime, but it becomes more and more dangerous when it affects a large population and causes death or serious illness to the number of people. And when it affects globally, it's called a pandemic, like what we're facing right now because of COVID-19. A serious and highly infectious form of viral-borne respiratory illness, which becomes deadly for a lot of people around the world. It's a human-to-human -human transfer viral infection like the flu, but COVID-19 affects different people in different ways. Most infected people will develop mild to moderate symptoms and recover without hospitalization, but for some people, it causes serious illness and can follow up with death. But the important thing is that there are such ways to protect yourself and others from these pathogens or germs. Wash hands often. Clean and disinfect commonly used surfaces. Cough and sneeze into your sleeve. Don't share personal items. Get vaccinated. Avoid touching wild animals.
I hope you might have found some useful information in this video. Please leave a like and comment down below and subscribe to our channel. We'll come up with new ideas very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.